This is a little uh, more in depth than usual. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's good. It's always nice to get back out on the field uh, after the winter and kind of get back in the groove of things, find your legs a little bit. So uh, it was fun. After so many years with San Francisco, I mean, just what was it like being here with this new group and wearing the uniform, all that new stuff? I mean, honestly, like, you know, baseball is baseball and, it, you know, obviously in a different place with a different team and organization. Um, but when you're on the field, it's kind of, you know, it's really all the same and you kind of, Get into the groove of the baseball stuff, and and uh, you know that part of it's not not really all that different. Have you gotten to know some of the other pitchers already? Yep, yep. We've uh, we've talked a good bit actually with a lot of the guys. Trying to learn a lot of names still, but. Matt said a lot of the guys said they were looking forward to meeting you, and you know they, they knew your reputation among base, um, in baseball. How does it make you feel knowing that guys look forward to you know meeting you here? And that's exciting to me. You know, I, I look forward to you know. I, I want to be the best I can be, and I want to help anybody else be as good as they can be too. And you can, you know, I can learn stuff from guys; they can learn stuff from me. So it's uh, it's just a good thing to to kind of get to know everybody good and and bounce ideas off of them. They bounce ideas off of me, and uh, just try to to make uh, everyone as good as they can be. What's that now? Well, you know, obviously, the free agency process is is pretty interesting to say the least. But um, you know, it just it, everything worked out. The stars aligned, and and it's a place I enjoy. Um, I've always I've always liked uh, Arizona, the Scottsdale area, Phoenix area. So, um, and the team, you know, the team. I, I really like how they play the game. The the kind of the group of guys they put together, and then getting to know in the front office and ownership. It's a pretty special group here. No, I came in just a few days early. Yeah. This is like a, a pretty healthy clubhouse as it was last year. Can you yeah. just tell us the welcome that they gave you, how much that means and how important that is to have uh, a group of guys like you mentioned that it's a good group that trying to get along. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, it definitely seemed that way from the other side and now being here, uh, you know, I couldn't agree more. It's, uh, it seems like a, a really good group, extraordinary group, so uh, excited to be a part of it. What do you expect of yourself, Madison, pitching-wise at this point in your career? What do I expect of myself? To win a World Series again. I mean, that's pretty much the only reason anybody plays a game. What would you say are any differences in your pitching from three to five years ago to now, if any? I wouldn't say there is one. No. What's your philosophy with spring? You know, a lot of guys, I mean, obviously you have to pace yourself with a long spring to get ready, but what's yeah. your uh, I try. I just kind of ease into it. You know, I, I always throw my first bullpen when I get here. I don't throw a lot. You know, I throw a lot and work out and run and stuff, and make sure I'm ready when I get here. But we got another six weeks or so. So, um, you know, a long time ago I quit throwing. You know, I maybe threw bullpens before spring my first year, maybe two, and then stopped, uh, and then used spring training to get ready for the season. So, just kind of like you said, I take it. You know, I take it slow. I don't try to. Be uh, in midseason form the first day. Uh, I would like to be be nice, but it just don't work that way. Is that something you learned as your career went on? Like early on, did you try to be ready day one? Or? Well, my you know the first year or so, obviously you're trying to to make a spot on the team, and then when you're relatively comfortable with that, then you can start using spring training for what it's for, and that's that's nice. You know, I like to to do that, and it just seems like it works better for me. You mentioned you know, the goals to win the World Series as, as always, but what's it like to join a franchise that seems to be making those steps to, to take, you know, make it to the next level, bring in yourself, yeah. watch and other players? Yeah, I'm excited about it. I think uh, I think they've done an unbelievable job putting the team together here, and I'm excited to, to see where, where it takes us. For those of us who don't know the story, how did the jersey swap number between you and Chapin go down? <laughs> you know, it was okay. Uh, he, was, he was good about it. Um, you know, I wasn't sure how I was going to go at first, but uh, it's not a big deal. He was he was good. Did you have to trade him anything? Yeah, we're still working. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something something for him, and we've been uh, kind of.
talking through some stuff. So I want, I want to take care of him because that is a big deal for him to do that. You mentioned the day that you signed your contract here and officially you were no longer a San Francisco Giant. Um, any kind of emotions from, from that or maybe you were sort of processed all that? Um, yeah, I don't, free agency is kind of a, uh, like I said, it's kind of a, an interesting uh, road to go down. So um, it was fun and, you know, a lot of ups and downs throughout the whole deal. So, um, you know, I was kind of prepared for, for a lot of different things. Um, but in the winter, you know, it's, in the winter it's different because, you know, you're home, you're doing other things. And, and uh, once the season starts, spring training starts and the season starts, you know, who knows the – the feelings that you might get, but um, right now I'm just excited to be here and excited to to get started with the Diamondbacks. You said you used the word fun. Was it fun or more nerve wracking? Uh, equally both, I would say. You know, you know, what? it's probably more fun than, than nerve wracking, but there's definitely some nerve wracking times in there. Some of the guys have talked about how they're looking forward to watching you, how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've won big games and stuff like that. Is that something? Can teach through talking with guys about it, or is it just something they have to do? Like, what's your kind of leadership philosophy? I guess uh, a little of both. I think um, you know you can always learn a lot by listening and watching, um, but then you know it's definitely good to to have a lot of conversations with guys for for myself and for them both. Uh, like I said, I'm just you know I want to to make this team as as good as I can. Anything I can do to make it better, I want to do. So, Madison, you're now the leader. There was a lot of guys. You know, the Giants, uh, when I first came up, there was uh, Kane, Linscombe, Zito, Jonathan Sanchez. Um, and then a lot of guys came through after that. But um, those were probably the the most influential, I guess. And even some bullpen guys, Jeremy Affeld, as bad as I hate to admit that, but uh, <laughs> Javi Lopez, a lot of those guys. There was, there was a ton of guys. Um, I don't know if I would say that. No, I wouldn't. I would. I, you know what? I definitely wouldn't say that. No. When you signed, uh, Mike Haven talked about how the way you structured your contract is kind of giving the team an opportunity to go and make some other moves to build the team up around you. As you said back in the winter, you saw him go get Cole Calhoun mm -hmm. and Starling and extend Nick Ahmed and David Peralta. What was that like for you to kind of watch the team that you built up? Uh, you know what, I was, you know, we had talked about that and I was excited to see some of that stuff pan out, you know, because like I said, you know, it, it didn't make a difference to me and how it was structured. Um, so, you know, they obviously are looking down the road a lot more than, than any of the players will be. So, um, you know, I'm glad that that stuff paid off and I was able to help. What have been your first couple of impressions of working with Tori Lovello? Oh, he seemed, he's, so far he seems unbelievable. I was, you know, I had an idea watching, you know, and hearing, you know, players talk. So, um, but being here and experiencing it, it's, he's a special type of manager, it seems like, so far. When do you think all this, the new surroundings will feel normal? I'm hoping pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to find my way around this place. It's, it's uh, a little different. It's big. But. I'm excited to find out. I know that. Um, like I said, I feel really good about about this club and and excited to to get started. You know, even the spring training games, just to to get you know back in that game atmosphere. So. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. I think. Uh, you know, it's obviously you know said many times what what uh, San Francisco has meant to me and my family. So um, I'm excited for that. No, we're, yeah, we're, uh, we just rented a place and, you know, just a normal, normal deal for spring training, I guess, but kind of take it as we go.